Damn, look at that. Damn, look at how good Danny's car looks. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking oh, dumb. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Static Works. Today, we are installing a short shifter on the Beamer. This is, so this is a this is a six gear automatic, and then we're gonna be installing a short shifter, which honestly should improve the speeds of the shifts when you put in drive. What we're doing today is actually installing a short shifter on the Veloster. I did not buy this from actual Hyundai, the dealership. I got it from online and it's uh, off of the R-Spec, which they come short shifter stock. So I just bought that one. It was a little expensive. I think uh, it was close to 300 bucks. Yes, Damn. it hurts. I thought it was gonna be the whole kit, but I was jumping between two different sites and I realized that I only ordered the short shifter, so I kind of messed up there. But 300 bucks. Hey, we better. it better be worth it, bro. We'll you see can how. already shift fast, just imagine. Damn, imagine with a new clutch. All right, so Martin's gonna pretty much take apart the whole interior. We've shown that in probably like 20 of our videos. Martin, unlock. Say unlock. Unlock. Thank you. So he's gonna be taking apart this whole assembly. And obviously, this is the shift knob, which is really tight on there. Tight to the bed. Oh. Don't do that. Oh. See, look at, look at that dude who has shifter for 30 years. Look at it. It might even fix the, the problem. So here's an update on my car. The last time we worked on it was for the brakes. You can barely see it. They do look real nice. You can probably barely see it in the video, but they're all black, no rusting, nothing. And it looks really nice because it's just an overall clean look for the car. Enough with my car though. Going back to my dad's car because we did mention in the last video that we were gonna do a video on this car, putting it all back together. We ended up doing it really fast just because we didn't wanna get any complaints. And as you can see, we set up everything. So there's a new radiator, radiator support, and a bunch of new goodies, and a new bumper that we have yet to install on. So hopefully, we will wrap the car. If not, we will just get, get it painted and include the bumper and saw in one of the videos. But this is how she looks so far. And we are missing a bracket right here that connects the fender onto the radiator support and pretty much has a sliding point for the headlights. So just this side we need. So we're just waiting on a couple of things, but so far everything's coming together pretty good. I am going to be getting something for my E46 and it's gonna be something to do with the interior and I'm really excited about it because I've been saving up for it and it is a lot of money. And just to add to the whole interior, a company did hit me up to review something on my car. So I'm really hyped about that. I'm just waiting for everything to be finalized. Hopefully everything goes through. But if it does, that means we're gonna be doing an install on another thing. And we got a lot of videos for you guys. So I finally got it all apart. This is what the new one looks like compared to the old one. We still have to take it out. They, uh, they recommend using a Dremel here to take this old little clip out. They do provide a new one. So you could use a Dremel or you could try to get at it with a really thin flathead. Um, we're kind of in a hurry. Danny has a lot of things to do. We'll show you guys later. He's very important. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna, okay, we're gonna end up using a Dremel here. I mean, I wish we had more time not to use a Dremel just because I know some of you don't have one. Yes. I don't have one. Danny, because he's one. rich, has one. <laughs> Stop. His dad. So we are gonna use it. Let's gotta cut it a little bit. We didn't show you guys how to remove everything on the car, but we've never done actually this. So we are gonna show you step by step how to remove all of this and put it back together. So if you guys wanna see that video, I already probably had a suggestion on the top, but up there will be one of the videos that we've taken something apart. And I believe it was to fix your shifting problem. Linkage cable. Yeah, so we have some videos. It's honestly not that hard. You just, just rip apart everything. So this will show you how to do it. There's some other videos down below or up there that will show how to do the other one. So first things first, these should be rated safety glasses, I hope. Italy design. It should work. Good enough. So here's the Dremel Blue Hawk. When that little lock pin is out, this should just pretty much pop out. And there are um, these little tabs, these four tabs 
you can see them. Pretty much you have to push all four and it should just pop up. It so should. we should all get screwdrivers and at the same time just go at it. Pretty much. So apparently you have to have all four tabs being pushed in. And by the time we got it out, of course it's all jacked up. So I got tired of it. Eventually, Danny thought of this. These little tweezers, putting them in between the little tabs. So we had that, then we had this other one pushed in there. So I thought we need something underneath to push it. So I got this brick and just slammed it hard and it popped off. So shout out to the brick. Shout out to the brick. Now we can really compare the new one to the old one. So on this short shifter, I thought this was either gonna be longer or gonna be angled, but the top is actually shorter, as you can see where it sits. And this is all plastic, and this is... Billet aluminum, I guess. <laughs> so we gotta grease this up a little bit. That's a lot. Yeah. A lot of lube. Gotta make sure it's good, bro. Ooh, that's how you do it. So you have to get a rubber mallet to gently tap the pivot cup onto the new shifter. It looks really nice, bro. I was reading the instructions. Right. You always like what the start. Fuck? Wait, listen, motherfucker. Sometimes I just don't start fast. Up. You're slow. You're slow. Man, man, mentally. Physically. Take it back. So oh. I was reading the instructions, and it does come with instructions. They are still terrible. The shift boot, there's this little plastic thing. You're supposed to pop that off, I guess. And here's this. Shorter one. Oof. Oh. Oof, baby girl. So I'm gonna be clicking it in. <laughs> I could fix anything now. So we finally have this, I guess it's called the, what is it, like some sort of a nut? So anyways, it locks it in place so this doesn't pop off. We finally have it all together. It was kind of a hassle taking these off as you can tell by the video. It took us way too long. We're gonna be connecting these back into the whole shifter assembly and then Martin's gonna be driving it and hopefully it will be a lot shorter because it was already short to me just because BMWs are notorious for long slushy throws. Luckily my, mine felt a lot shorter than Danny's but yeah but now with my short shifter it kind of feels just like his. So Martin let Danny have the honors of driving the car first. Look at the sh look at the throws. It feels shorter. I feel like just because I'm not used to this car, like I drive it probably like once every two weeks. So I'm used to my car with the longer throws, but it does feel a lot more mechanical. And I, that's a that's you know obviously due to the short shifter being aluminum. And I've always noticed that with short shifters that they're really really mechanical. So like you can feel all of it, you know. Okay. The first drive, he's gonna do a pull. Ready? Obviously we're at a race course, so don't try this at home unless you have a public track in your local neighborhood. I can't do digs, so. Impressions, bro. Feels good. It's hella short. Oh! Turbo boost! Feels so much faster on this side, it's weird. I see a Subi, bro. Damn. Oh, I see a 352. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to get it to pop. Oh. Wednesday, uh, I'll see if the cap for the headlights come in. Alright, and then we could do a review on your car. That's me right there, bro. That's me. You gotta give me some slaps and I'll give you slaps in return. Four, 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 four. He hooked it up fat, you don't even know. Who? This guy is, has uh, never lived. Alright, you gotta give me that one. Really? Are so you, are like you down? I already, know, I already know what you're gonna ask. Can you see the spark in the background or no? No. You can see you're the not, wire on my tire. Bro, 
So this is my buddy Raymond Z, the guy with the yellow shirt. And then this is my buddy Migs Subi. It's an STI swap, so it's pretty much full STI. Um, he has the six-speed transmission, he just swapped it, and he has the STI motor that he's had for a while, but his five-speed finally blew. But he also got Brambos. So he got pretty much the full setup. And if you guys want a review on this, let me know because we are planning on doing it very soon, probably one of the next videos. Recording. <laughs> so we just got back from uh, shooting and stuff with uh, all the boys from the Static Works team. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share. And we'll see you guys on the next one.